Okay, Libra, this one's for you. Hi, welcome to May 2017. Libra, that's you. We're here at terraillumination.com. And this is your love and relationship report for May 2017. Let's see what's going on in that department, okay? Just for just for edification. Now I was shuffling earlier off camera. You didn't see that, but we're gonna keep shuffling while I go over things. Libra, while we're here on this playlist, please uh, I invite you to take the time and have a look at the overview for all the signs. It's a little bit of stuff about the planets and how that affects everybody and it might help you to get more out of this little report okay next while you're here please read for your moon and for your rising okay like you do for all the other reports it's just the same but the emphasis here is on love and relationship okay so uh, we're just gonna kinda get into it I'm not gonna do a lot of you know, preliminary chit chat. We're just going to get stuck into it. But I want to let you know in advance that from my perspective of your, as your reader, I'm not just doing this in the form of like, there's you and there's the other. Bang. What's going on? I'm, I, I feel that to make it worthwhile doing these things, we have to allow the fact that you, to, for you to even be here at all, there's a very good chance you've already got someone or something on your mind that's already probably quite kind of embedded in your life, in your world about relationship. Even if you're single, uh, younger or older, it doesn't matter. You still radiate the energy of relationship somewhere and you can attract the same energy that arrives in three dimensions. Uh, but it's already set in motion uh, on, the, on the spirit realm. So the energy is still there, okay? even though the, the, the physical person is not there. So, uh, but again, like, uh, I'm talking about a relationship where it's understood that there's you, Libra, and there's the other, but when you are conducting this relationship, it's on the understanding that the relationship has an identity of its own, okay? It's something that the both of you own together. It isn't just Hi, what can I get out of you? Hey, what are you trying to get out of me? By the way, what can I get out of you? And what are you trying to get out of me? We're not doing that here, okay, people? We're talking about a relationship that has some substance to it. Where you understand that the relationship itself has its own identity. And hopefully both of you understand that and respect that. Okay, just one last little spin. Then we're going to kind of go for it, all right? Just one last big chunks from the bottom up. Last big chunks. Big, big, big chunks. All right. No reversals. You know that. Okay. So here we go. Okay. Here we go. Let's have a look. What's going on? Okay. This represents you right now. This represents the other. Okay. Here's what's going on deeper inside. This could be all the fear and the turmoil or confusion, or it could be all the dreams and wishes. We don't know. Could be blockages, could be assets. And it's the same for the other, okay? Going deep. And here's the relationship itself. Here's the status. Where are things right now with the relationship? Not with you, not with them, with the relationship, okay? That's this thing right here, okay? And where does it seem to be heading? Not you, not them. Where is the relationship heading, okay? The thing that you own together. Let's have a look. By the way, what's going on in the background? Okay, well, Libra, you might be feeling that there's some adversity here and that you might be struggling to hold your ground. There might be the energy of conflict or the apparent energy of, con of apparent conflict, it might all be in your head. And you might feel that there are challenges out there that you don't really deserve, and it's maybe more than you can handle. 
And it could also indicate that you've come very, very, very far in your ability to handle not just this relationship, but relationships in general. But it's been a struggle. But you are, don't forget this, you are in the dominant position here. You're doing just fine. You're holding your ground. This is very courageous. Well done. Okay? Now, that's just going on in the background. You might not even feel it, okay? It just might feel like a current, like just like the way weather moves through your life, okay? So, what's up with you? Wow. <laughs> More wands. But this, again, it's... It, this is the energy of conflict, but it's not like vicious conflict. It's just there might be an awful lot of passionate interchange going on between yourself and another. However, this represents you. So you, this might not be anything to do with the, uh, your, the other half, the other person. This might be inside of you. There's tremendous upheaval and turmoil and excitement and passion going on, which is really not resolved yet. It's in the throes. It's like bubbling. It's just like a kettle boiling, or um, or wh what is it? Well, I was I had this image of Yellowstone, whatever it is. I've never even been there, but you know uh, where you have these bubbling geysers of energy going on, and it's very very powerful. It's very passionate. It's very beautiful. It's very strong, but it's also it can. <laughs> you don't want to get stuck in there. You don't want to walk head first into a geyser, okay? And you might be radiating the energy of conflict yourself. In other words, if, dear Libra, your normal, highly balanced and harmonious self is actually working very hard to hide what appears to be a lot of internal uh, turbulence and passions that are almost out of whack, then that might explain why this card is showing up here. There's no real harm intended. It might be that you are working really, really hard by facing very challenging situations to rise up into like the person that you need to be in order to have a healthier, happier relationship. So it might be very exciting and sporty and kind of almost like fun. It's almost like, come on, let's do this. Let's go and do something wacky and sane. And like, I dare you to do this. I dare you to be that with me and watch what happens because I'm going to meet you exactly. It's like, it's almost telling your boyfriend or your girlfriend, I mean, this is going to sound really trite, but I'm trying to simplify the energy. Like, come on, I know you want to hang out. I know you want to F with me. I'm going to F with you. Let's go and do it. Like, um, it's very, very passionately charged. It's almost like, okay, let's say ping pong, okay? It's like, come on, let's play. I got to burn up this passion and energy. Here, you take the bat. I'll take the bat. I'll throw the ball. Ping, pong, ping. Let's go for it. Bam, 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 bam. Let's see what we're made of. Show me what you're made of, other person. I'll show you what I'm made of because I got all this, okay? I've got all this, and I've worked very hard to be here, and I'm going to hold my ground. I am going to hold my ground. And I like being with someone who uh, doesn't disrupt the balance or the status quo, but who has some passion and is willing to go there with me. I'm hoping it's you. So show me what you got, because I am all there, ready to show you what I've got, okay? All right, Libra, yeah! So, um, what's going on with them? Who We don't know. It might be very, very different energy. Oh, you see, they, they might want, want to play with you. They might feel right out there in the poorhouse, almost like, are you almost bullying me? Like, hi, Libra. Yeah, I, you know, I can see why you want to do this, and, like, maybe you love me, and, uh, you know, maybe we once had something... But right now, things are kind of in the doghouse, frankly. And you might have your perspectives very, very lopsided. And we need to do some serious adjustments here. So that's, my, that's what you might be dealing with in terms of your, the other person. They might not be feeling it all, at all. They might be feeling rejected and left out, almost like you're bullying them. Or that they're not feeling the passion. It's already gone and burnt out because maybe you overdid it. Maybe you wanted too much, expected too much. And 
they weren't really prepared for that. And so there might be a sense of rejection or having been left out or being used or abused or just impoverished as a result of hanging out with you. Sorry, Lieber, you're not normally a bully or anything, but there's a lot of very strong energy of passion here. And you're dealing with someone who's actually feeling kind of broken. They might need, instead of like, like a kick in the butt and saying, hi, come on, let's do this. They might need some really a lot of tenderness and kindness and respect and much more of a kind of a nurturing type of energy than lots of game playing and sport and fun and activities and challenges and conflicts, okay? They might just be plain beat up. You might have just worn them out and they're just saying like, please give us a break because we're beat up and worn out and we need to rejuvenate ourselves, okay? Now, with this other person, it's on the understanding that it takes two to have a relationship, okay? And for all your exuberance here, the reality is the other person might be feeling really, really way below the conditions that would signify a healthy, happy relationship. So something's out of whack here. Something needs attention, okay, Libra? This is your reading, Libra, but you're dealing with somebody who's really out of sorts. You might be in great shape, but the other is not in good condition right now, not ready to go along. They don't want to end up being impoverished. They don't want to be rejected and left out. It, my guess is that, th that they would like to figure things out in another way altogether. And it's, it's all possible. It's all doable. All the resources are there. It's just not apparent at the moment because the two of you are probably at odds. So what's going on deep inside you, Libra? Okay, well, you might feel as though you're working at it. Maybe you're overworking. Maybe you're just overworking the whole thing. Okay, it's almost like beating the relationship to death. Okay, that's not a good, that's not, that's not healthy, okay? You can't pound somebody into submission like, you're going to relate with me because I'm working at it really hard and I'm very, very passionate about you and I'm very, very deeply committed and I'm willing to go the long haul. Okay? So let's do it. And they're like, well, yeah, I, I honestly, I'm burnt out. I've had enough. You know, I'm feeling like you're using me, tapping me out or something. It's not right. Libra, you may be willing to put in the work and that's great. Maybe there's a job issue at stake here. Maybe the relationship is suffering because of lack of resources and you might be willing to work really really hard Libra but the other person um, hasn't got it together in that department either in the heart or the wallet or both and you might be having to pull the weight of two people and maybe you don't mind doing that maybe you're okay with that maybe but they're not they're not happy. There's something not happy about the other person, okay? So it needs to be addressed. It needs to be uh, faced. You might have, you know, seriously good, wholesome intentions, Libra. On the other hand, uh, you can't, you know, make a relationship work when the other person is out of whack. You just can't pound it into the condition that you want it to be just because you want the relationship to be the way you think it should be. Okay? Relationships do take work. There's no question about it. You, you don't take them for granted. Libra, in general, relationships are so, so important to you. You are the sign of relationship. You're ruled by Venus, the planet of love and relationship. But at this very moment in this particular reading, I don't see one cup card of heart and love anywhere. It's all about the passion and the work and the energy. So let's have a look. What's going on with the other? Wow. They may feel so bust up that they might just want to move on. They might be feeling so out of whack with things that... In their mind, I'm not saying the relationship's over, but in part of their mind, they're thinking, we need to move on from the way things are right now, dear Libra. 
because I can't take this anymore, okay? I'm sick of it, whatever it is. You might be thinking you're having a blast and it's going really well according to you, 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 you. But from my position, me, 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 things are not that great. And we need some attitude adjustments. We not, might need counseling. And we might, we need to improve things. There is work to be done in order to improve things. And that's the other person talking. That's their energy, okay, in the context of this relationship. They, it might be as simple as they're just thinking of moving on and taking their stuff with them, okay? And you might resent that. You might be fighting that, and you might be battling that and say, hey, wait a minute, you just can't walk out on me. Well, actually, they can, dear Libra. So we don't know why or why this is happening, there is conflict. There's no maliciousness here, but there is definitely conflict going on. And there may be all the good intentions. You may have a lot invested in the relationship, and that's great. And that's that's wonderful. You might want it to work, but the reality is, for the other person, things are not going that well, whoever they are, however they are. Deep, deep, deep down inside, there's something out of whack, okay, with the other person which is not good for the relationship or you. So let's have a look at the relationship itself. What is the status of the relationship? Okay, it's to do with wealth, okay? There is definitely something to do with the material three-dimensional aspect of your relationship, possibly as simple as money itself, where it might be that money is the problem. Okay, maybe there's a real problem, the balance of power is seriously out of whack when it comes to the wealth in the relationship. Who owns all the wealth in the relationship? Who owns all the power in the relationship? Is there any generosity? Is there any kindness? Is somebody, if, if this is a status card in the context of a relationship where this would normally indicate a lot of abundance, a lot of love and abundance and shared love and shared abundance where both of you, let's just, let's just be very optimistic here. Both of you actually do share the wealth and the abundance in the relationship, okay? And you're used to a lot of giving and receiving and generosity in very tangible ways but there is something out of whack and it's not happening. And so the whole issue of the wealth and the value of the whole relationship is in question here. Okay, it's the abundance and the wealth of the relationship itself. You might be going through a rough patch, okay, where all the normal, beautifully abundant aspects of this card are in jeopardy. All the fertility, all the abundance, all the sharing and the, the gift giving of self to other and other to self, it, it could all be deeply in question, okay? There could be a lot of conflict going on in the relationship regarding the wealth and the value of the relationship. In other words, is it really worth it anymore? Possibly not from the other person's perspective. But you, even though you, Libra, may have a lot invested in the relationship. There's something seriously out of whack, okay? That's all that's how it appears to me. So where's it heading? Well, <laughs> okay. Maybe it's just on, on a path like, well, this is just how it's going to be, and maybe it's all coming to the surface. Maybe everything's going to fall apart, and maybe that's the right thing to do. Maybe the destiny of this whole thing is to just crash and burn and fall apart. It also may be just the opposite, where deep down, if you're willing to move on, get counseling and do the work and kind of, <clears throat> let's say, put the conflicts aside and turn the conflicts into creative solutions, okay? Take all this passion and all this energy here and come to meet in the middle where you normally would have in a healthy relationship where both parties openly come to the realization that work needs to be done here. You, you, you get yourselves around the kitchen table or whatever, however you do these things and you work it out. 
you work out what is actually going on here because the de whole destiny of our relationship is at stake right now. Right now, okay? So we need to take care of stuff. There's something really out of whack. It needs care and attention. If we're going to keep this thing together, otherwise the whole thing could just go kaboom, okay? You cannot afford to just leave the relationship up to fate just because you're you and they are them and you have a relationship and then everything goes on autopilot. No. We have here a crucible where where two people are vested in the relationship, deeply vested, and inside the crucible, the crucible, the whole idea of the marriage crucible, the relationship crucible, the crucible of relationship, is that you create this hypothetical structure in which the two of you can evolve and grow together and work these things out not just for the benefit of the relationship, but for yourselves and each other, on the understanding that when you invest in the relationship and you put the work into the relationship, that's where the love and the bounty comes from. It isn't all about you and it isn't all just about them. It's the relationship itself. And the very destiny of this relationship is at stake right now. And Libra, this is your reading. So my take on it is that it is your duty and it is your responsibility to step up and initiate whatever it is that needs to be adjusted and fixed and taken care of in this relationship because it's out of whack. That's how it appears to me, Libra. It's totally fixable. It doesn't mean it's going to be all fall apart, but there's something out of whack and it needs to come back into balance. And there's no better person than you, Libra, to bring things back into harmony and balance because that's what you guys like and that's what you love. It might require some serious attitude adjustments from the other party. It might require a complete like separation and breakup for a while. It might require a lot of work and reinvestment to bring all of this goodness back into the core of the relationship on the understanding that the relationship itself has value okay the relationship itself is very very valuable okay if you don't understand that then I don't know how to help you Libra but the relationship itself is valuable that has to be understood by both parties, okay? Because both parties are invested here. All right. I don't want to get all mean and like a bully or sound like I'm some kind of relationship doctor here because this is just a little tarot and it's very subjective. Dear Libra, don't forget, read for your moon, read for your rising, and read for the overview of the planets, okay? Please understand, Libra, you're getting pounded by Pluto and Capricorn right now, all right? It's a square. It's a hard square. And so the whole energy of relationship might be under a lot of pressure for you. All right, dear Libra, like I said earlier, we're going to pull one card from the Romance Angels deck, okay? And I'm going to read the little story for you, to you, all right? Just for fun, this might give you a little bit more perspective. It's not uh, the ultimate qualifier or the last card of destiny or anything like that. This is just a sort of, it's like flavoring. It's like salt and pepper on the meal, okay? This is going to add a little bit more piquancy. Uh, get a little bit more perspective and get things just right in the reading. Let's have a look. See if I can put it straight out. Straight out. I've got it already. I see it. It's way, way up here. All right, Libra, what have we got? Playfulness. Jeepers, have fun. God, it's so obvious. It's what you want. Your buddy, your partner may not be feeling it. In fact, they may be feeling so bad right now that they literally want to move on because it's just been too burdensome. And so in, in the end, you might just want to do something really simple. Okay, this is the card of playfulness. It says here, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Libra. But let's just say this is for the whole relationship. 
you guys need to have fun. You need to do something fun and like okay because things are very serious and heavy in this relationship and there's a lot of what I see of energy of like you know screw this I need a total timeout we need a separation for a while in order to get this to work properly because there's all the potential to make this wonderful okay and the outcome could be just splendid but it needs work and the energy here is playfulness okay here we go I'm just gonna read it to you I hope you can hear this properly all right, Libra. The romance angels are cherubs who embody all things romantic and who have a happy, youthful sense of playfulness. They delight in the wonders of love and ask you to do the same. The angels want to help you fall back in love with life again by guiding you to enjoy yourself. This comes from a spirit of joy and adventure. Okay? which is not here. <laughs> Sorry. The angels ask you, when was the last time you guys had fun? And if you don't remember, then it's long overdue for you to add some playtime into your schedule. You see? If you're trying to figure it out. Have some fun here, people. The angels say that fun is a necessity not a luxury, okay? You might have been overworking. You might have been just working too hard and burned out and ended up, you know, broke. People burn themselves out to the to the point where they're broken and the job wasn't even worth it, you know? It's not right. It's not healthy. <clears throat> the angels say that fun is a necessity, not a luxury. The activity can be free of charge. It can just be exploring nature, auditioning for a local theatrical production, joining a community sports team, or trying something new, going on, going on a walk, trying something fun and goofy and silly together. Playfulness is a good investment of your time, and it will renew your energy levels and elevate your mood. Okay? Playtime is essential in relationships, too to keep the free-spirited component of dating alive, okay? All professional relationship coaches would tell you this, I'm sure. So we're doing an amazing job here, Libra. We're going to fix this, all right? But you got to have fun. All right. Plan regular date nights, or at least plan one now. Make that your plan right now, Libra. Sort out a date night, okay? Play regular date nights with your partner and take turns creatively planning fun activities such as <laughs> miniature golf, <laughs> karaoke, <laughs> walking through a flower garden, or flying kites together. Woohoo! Why well, I me? Mean, why not? Seriously. You know, take a drone out and fly it over your neighborhood and go snooping in people's gardens. Um. Go for a jog around the neighborhood and, I, I don't know, maybe just go out and have a cup of coffee together and stare at people and poke fun at them secretly by whispering to each other, oh, look at that one. <laughs> yeah, I bet they're like a screwed up banker. Or oh, I bet that one's, oh, I bet she's pregnant. Oh, my God, look at her. You can tell, blah, blah, blah. Or, you know, this just goofy, silly, have fun, Libra, okay? Let's just leave it at that, okay? Read for your moon, read for your rising, have fun, all right? And you will recapture and reclaim the abundance and wealth and bring the destined energies back into your relationship so you can bring it back full circle to where it needs to be. All right, Libra, I hope you get something out of it. Have a super May. It's been a pleasure reading for you. Take care. Bye.